Okay, welcome back. I am about to do three lines of tutorials, uh, rapid fire on WPF, UWP, and Windows App SDK controls. Same controls in each: tree view, list view, text box, pivot control, or pivot, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, canvas, and the graphics. The reason is the UWP vector graphics application will have to be switched to the other tutorial to either WPF or to Windows App SDK uh, because of a, a bug in the tree view that's been there since the beginning and it's not going away and that's basically where when you sort it and I should have said all this in the introduction but when you sort it it totally wipes out the children of all the uh, of all all of its items <laughs> it's very goofy so these are three classes we'll need in Exactly the same for each of the tutorials. I have the other UWP tutorial actually up, but what I'm going to do is add another project very quickly. This is going to be rapid fire, like I said. WPF, Windows Desktop, uh, no, Windows Form, WPF. And I'm going to name this uh, NT for Notify Tutorial, WPF. And that's it for the project setup. Long-term support. There it is. And let's create these classes. Shouldn't take but a couple minutes. I'm not going to go over them very, or in any depth. Okay, so first of all, add a class. Call it Notifier. You've probably seen this class before if you've looked at any of my other tutorials. Going fast as I can here. Just using system dot component model make it public we're not going to worry about the internal stuff right now and i notify our property changed it guessed it for me good going property changed event handler uh property changed protect it Haha! <laughs> Protect it. Virtual void on property changed. Yeah, there we go. You read my mind because everybody does it almost the same. Okay, and I am going to add another one that I bet you doesn't guess. I did it again. No, not on property changing. On Property change one more time. String uh, property names. And for each string, yep, on property change, property name, yeah. That's it. Okay, so if you get this in WPF, this is new. And it's uh, very annoying. I'm offline, so I'm just going to click on that button and grab that right there. Close Explore. Jump up to the top. It's part of the Microsoft's new notable crap. And it's very annoying. And now I still got the other one. So I'll grab the warning right there. Type the exact same line in. Because we're not going to worry about that right now. Someone has, no, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, so I need to add one folder, or actually I need to add two, but we're just going to add one right now. We're going to call it the model. And I need to add, let's see here, we need to add a base view. We're just doing three of these in here. We're going to add a class called base view. Public. Generic notifier public T view. That'd be our window in WPF. View is equal to view. Okay, and one more. We're going to go ahead and add our view in here. And since it's called the main window, I'm going to call it the main page, main view. How about that? Main view. 
public base view main window public main view main window view base view yay you got it okay and that was way actually we went way faster than I wanted to these both really should be in a model view class model view folder but someone said I made too many folders so we're not going to do that okay let's go ahead and create the third class real fast uh, the base item and its interface I added interface to it if you didn't see it before so first let's create the interface you're taking the other tutorial don't worry I'm going back to that if you all you're looking for is the binding you won't get it here you will get it public interface void move top Go ahead and add another class, but don't worry about editing it yet. Call it base item. And that way we just don't get a bunch of errors in here. And base item item. Void move down or up. What? Base item is internal. Come on, let go. All right, that's it. That. Let's go. I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. All right. Private string M name. Now to shut up WPF, go ahead and make it equal to empty. Um, I really have a problem with whoever at Microsoft's coming up with this stuff, saying that that has to be initialized if you make it empty to something, nothing, and it is. So it makes no sense. On property changed. Name of name in private I parent item parent is equal to null public parent Have people really become so lazy they can't do a null check? Because you have you still have to do the null check with it. All right, last property. Base item children. No. Now I'm not doing typos. That's just IntelliSense not keeping up and just making crap up <laughs> as I type. Okay, now we have to do our interface also. You see, it's just wasting time. Okay, move top. Move up, move down, move top, right here. If item is not equal to null, int index of is equal to children index of the item. If index of is greater than it, no, no. Negative one, children dot remove at index of children insert zero item. Okay. That is move top. Let's do move up. If item is not equal to null, int index of, yeah. If index of is greater than, or greater than zero, because we're moving it up, not to top. Uh, int index of two is equal to index of 
minus one uh, base item item two is equal to children index of two uh, children index of is equal to item two we're almost finished we just got two more to do why would the, no, that makes no sense okay move up there's move up move down move down is almost the same so we can copy and paste it if index of is less than the children dot count minus one end index of is greater than negative one plus and that's just everything else is good okay and move bottom last one is item it's not equal to null and index of is equal to children index of if index of is greater than negative one children dot remove at index of no i won't do that myself Add it back. Okay. That's it. If you got something out of this, like and subscribe. This is, I gotta quit scrolling away so fast for some people. This is our base view model. Um, this is our view model itself. This, uh, this is our base item for our tree view. All of our items in an, in, in the example. Example should be under 10 minutes. And all the items in the example will be bound to this. And we do have to add a few more properties over here. We can actually jump over to, we can do that before we get out of here. We can just jump over here and copy these and then implement the interface. So just grab those and copy them, put them under the main view, and then come up here. I, uh, is that right? Yeah, I parent item. And then just do a, thank you for putting away over there. And that should be, yeah. Compile. If you got something out of this, follow. Hit the little heat button on Odyssey. Like and subscribe on YouTube. God bless. I will see you in the next video.